What's up tubers? Tio here, Simplistic Fishing, coming back at you tonight for another six cent sack giveaway. That's right, it is time once again. I got the box. Actually, I got two boxes. One of the boxes I've already opened up a little bit, so I can't be shaking it around too much. We're gonna open it up though tonight, see what's inside of it. I'm gonna give you guys a keyword, and then next week we'll be back to draw two lucky winners once again. Let's go, let's jump in, let's see what's in the sack. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing, see what is inside this box. I actually got two boxes here. This one's already open, getting ready to open up the bag to see what's inside. Should be interesting for sure. If you guys are wondering what in the heck is this guy doing? Why is he giving away free six cents sacks every single month? It's because it goes back to a really long time ago. Actually, not that long ago. Two and a half uh, months ago. Let me make sure I'm doing my record here. Yep, we're good. Two and a half months ago. I, I'm, I'm totally screwed up. Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. Almost three years now. We started this YouTube channel just for fun. And as we started to grow, I made an agreement with everyone that if we started to make money on YouTube that we would share our profits with you by giving away free baits and guess what our YouTube channel actually grew I don't know if it was because of the free baits because we really don't get that many people uh, signing up for the drawings but I kept my word to you and we're going to continue to do it we've got two boxes you guys saw this box we got this one here I've got this one here as well let's go ahead and open it up and see what it is inside now what we'll do is we'll go through these baits we'll talk about them a little bit and then at the end of the video i'll give you a keyword all you need to do is like this video put that keyword inside your comment and make sure that you subscribe to the channel then you got to watch the video next week to see if your name was drawn on the wheel if it was you will send me an email giving me your information and i will then mail you this six cent sack number one thing to be aware of for all those spammers that are out there I will not reach out to you and tell you that you won. That's not gonna happen. I'll tell you that you won on the video next week. If anybody comes to you and says you won, they're lying, it's not me. Even if they say it's me, it's not me. I'll tell you if you won on the video next week, I promise. So, enough of the chitter chatter crap. Let's go ahead and get in and let's open up this nice juicy six cent sack right there. So. Go ahead and open this puppy up. Looks like it's pretty full. Got quite a bit of stuff in there. Let's dig in and let's see what we've got. So first off, we've got the Movement 80 WK or Movement 80 Wake. This is a really good bait. For me, it's more of a springtime thing, but it could I could definitely see it working up around the riprap and stuff in the fall, really like right around right now. This could be a really good bait to use, really good action. It's been very successful for me. I really like that lure. Definitely something you just you, you just basically take it up and throw it around shallow covers. That could be riprap, could be lay down, stuff like that, whatever it is. In fact, in the fall right now, if you guys are have watched my uh, my video yet, you're gonna notice I talk a lot about rocks. So that is definitely something you can throw around the rocks and not worry about getting hung up and stuff like that. And stay extremely, extremely shallow. Next up, as we look in the bag, we've got a six-aught hook. It's an axle swinging swim jig. So you could put a pretty healthy swim, uh, swim bait on that with that six-aught hook. But that's pretty cool. It's, a, it's basically, it basically swings. So if I were to open up the package, you would see the hook swing on the head. It's a, it's a design that only Six Sense has, and it's really, really cool. I've been successful with the, the swinging swim jigs, and I've also been successful with just a normal swim jig. So I can't really tell you that this swim jig is better than a normal swim jig, but I can tell you that it works. So anyways, that swim jig thing, I mean, I don't have that kind of stuff to throw swim jigs around, but if you've got some grass, if there's still some grass that's alive, definitely throw that swim jig around that grass. Any type of vegetation, if you've still got any and it's alive, fish around the stuff that's still green. Obviously the dead stuff don't even waste your time on because they've already pulled out and they're on that last piece of vegetation that's still alive. All right, so let's keep moving, see what else we got in here. The next one is gonna be the Munch 2.5 
or a dive is two and a half feet, sorry. And it's a Munch 40. This is the black color. Remember when I told you guys a couple videos ago that black is like the new thing. It's, it's the new Taylor Swift right here, the, the black crankbait for us, for us that don't really follow Taylor Swift. Uh, Taylor Swift is very, very famous. And this, uh, this black color is very, very famous in bass fishing. All right, that was horrible for a dad joke. Let's keep moving on. That's the munch. You guys know where to throw that at. That's just a square bill. Typical stuff, rip wrap for sure. Rip wrap right now. I can't say that enough. Fishing around rip wrap and then also fishing around shallow cover like lay downs and debris and stuff like that. Good little bait to be throwing. All right, next up. We've got, guess what? Another square bill. Hmm, wonder why they're giving us so many square bills. Probably because it's fire right now. This is the Crush 50S Silent. This one doesn't rattle. Now, if I take the other bait that we had over there, let's, where's this at? This is the Munch 40. It's got a decent little rattle to it. You can hear it rattling. This Silent does not rattle. The only thing rattling is actually just the hooks. So if you can't get a bite on this one, I can get this in the package right. If you can't get a bite on that one, you could always switch over and go to the silent and see if you can get a bite on the silent. Both of these are really, really good crankbaits. I love these six inch crankbaits. You rarely have to tune them. You don't have to change the hooks. Everything about them is just awesome. I'm a huge fan. Um, you guys know I like the Berkeley crankbaits too. So uh, those probably are my two favorite crankbaits, Berkeley and six cents. Uh, so next up, when I dig in here, we've got the Schwank 66X. This is a smaller, uh, basically like a hybrid hunter, uh, but it's a little bit smaller. And that is a good looking bait. Gonna be fire again. Same type thing with that wake bait. You're gonna throw it up around the riprap and the rocks, the shallow rocks. That is an awesome, awesome lure. Strike King makes one called, you heard me just say it a minute ago, called the hybrid hunter. This is pretty much the same type thing. It's got that lip on the bill. I can't get the, the hook to come down, but if you could see it up in that package, and I don't think I can get this thing down here where you can see it right in that package. There we go. Uh, you'll notice that it has that interesting lip that's on it that flattens out. I don't know if you can even tell on that, but it does flatten out the top. A very, very good lure. Throw it pretty much everywhere you throw a square bill, throw that and you'll have some success. Now let's see what else they got in here. Looks like we got a couple more. We've got the, ooh, interesting. They sent us some hooks. Size one hooks, these are wacky hooks. These are good for drop shots too, so you can also throw them on drop shots, but these are the wacky hooks. And then last but not least, the bag is now empty. We've got the Clout 6.3 five packs. These are a little bit bigger. Um, it says you can use them with wacky words. This is a wacky, wacky hooks. This is an exclusive color, it's called Gill Dust. It's a five pack. These are a little bit bigger. These are really similar to Senkos, and that can be something that can be really, really fire, especially if you get on one of those days where they just don't want to bite. You can throw this out there. It's very subtle, and you can actually get some pretty good bites throwing that stuff around. So that's the package. Six cents delivered once again. They always do. I've looked at the other box. It's going to be the same exact thing, so I've got two boxes to give away. All we've got left to do is come up with the word and i went through this you know i'm thinking man clout no we've already used clout schwank i think we already used schwank munch we already used munch crush we already used crush i think we even used axle at one time so we've already done that um we haven't done anything with the movement adx but i can't really think of anything that could go with movement so here's what i came up with i'm just going to go with wacky and I'm gonna to try to zoom in here so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. It's not one to focus very well, but right there, wacky. That's how you spell it, wacky. For those of you guys who don't wanna spell wacky, that's how we're gonna spell the wacky. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out there, you're gonna put a comment out there and you're gonna use wacky in the description. You can make it a poem, you can make it funny, just don't make it dirty, just keep it clean. Let's get some clean humor out there and let's see what you guys can come up with with the word wacky. That's going to be the word. I'll see you guys next week and see who are going to win these boxes. Till next time, hope you catch PB.